All right, so today we are making sculptures out of cups. All right, styrofoam cups, nothing fancy. They do need to be white or like a uniform light color because we are going to be using this sculpture that we make as the basis for our next drawing and shading project. So we need that plain white surface because we're looking for those areas of light and shadow as it goes around this curved surface, okay? So how are we gonna make our sculpture? Well, you would probably need, I would say two to three styrofoam cups. These are pretty little. So if you have the bigger ones, you might only need a couple of them. And we are going to cut these into some different abstract shapes and stick them together to make an abstract sculpture. So don't worry about it looking like anything. It's probably not gonna look like much, okay? The end goal is for this to no longer resemble a cup. It needs to look completely different, like it's not made out of styrofoam cups at all. There's a hair on mine. There's, there's no hair required for this assignment. Okay, there we go. All right, so let's see what we can make out of this. So you might be wondering how to build and assemble your different pieces of your styrofoam cup. The easiest way is to cut a slit on one part and then the part that you want to attach, cut a slit into that as well. And then you're going to link these together, okay? You don't even necessarily have to cut both of them. You could just cut one of them and then slide it down onto that part. So this is a really easy way to build height. I think that's key for this sculpture is you want to try to make this as large as possible. So I'm going to be cutting lots of shapes out of this and again, trying to get rid of the styrofoam cup look. We don't want it to look like a cup anymore. So for this part, I lost some of my earlier footage of cutting out the different pieces, but there's really no rhyme or reason to this. Um, just put those pieces together wherever they will fit. So once you have your sculpture assembled, it's probably gonna be really fiddly. So like when I go to move this, this thing is like barely held together. But um, over the course of this thing falling apart and me having to put it back together again a zillion times, it's definitely moved far away from that overall shape of the um, cup, okay? I do have some leftover pieces. If I had the time, I could continue building this up. But I think once you get to a point where it's like this and it absolutely does not resemble a uh, styrofoam cup anymore, then you're in a pretty good spot. So the next challenge is to photograph it. So I would find something that's a dark color that you can put behind your sculpture. All right, so that way I don't have all that background stuff. So I just got a piece of black paper that I'm gonna hold up behind here. So I'm gonna take some pictures of it from different angles. Just trying for some variety here. Okay. So now I've got some pictures and I'm gonna edit this. So just pick any one of those pictures that you like, change it to black and white. And what I'm looking for is a range of values. So when I zoom in, if you look on this part of the cup, you can see a highlight and then kind of a gray area next to it. You see how it goes away when I do that. So I don't wanna use this silver tone filter um, I'm trying to preserve that highlight and shadow. So probably I'm gonna stick with this one. And then I'm going to crop it. And you wanna to stick to something that is rectangular that only has styrofoam cups. So you want it to run off the edge and crop it and then you're done. So you're gonna to wanna to print this or, um, you know, there's a few different ways that you can do this, but we're gonna end up drawing this. But so if you can print it, I would go ahead and print it. And you can just print it in black and white, of course, because it's a black and white image. If you can print it the same size as your paper, that will save you quite a bit of time and effort. Or if you wanna print it as like a half size, that's pretty good too. And I'm gonna show you how to do an image transfer so that you can get this onto your drawing paper very, very easily. So we'll look at that in the next step.